I'm Lynn Bowie, and coming up this afternoon on WJZ, in a surprising reversal, of course, Fort Worth, Texas Police Commissioner Joel Fitzgerald withdraws his name to be Baltimore's next top cop. He says he needs to focus on the health of his 13 year old son who needs brain surgery to remove a mass discovered last week. Fitzgerald had been a controversial nominee, facing criticism by some members of the city council. WJZ will have more on where this process goes from here coming up this afternoon. Baltimore City Police say a county cruiser struck and killed a person jumping out of a stolen car near Pimlico Sunday night. The person who was killed was inside a car stolen earlier in the day from a pizza delivery man in Windsor Mill. Officers spotted the car on Liberty Road and began a pursuit when three people inside jumped out. One was struck by the cruiser. The latest on this investigation this afternoon. The partial government shutdown continues having a major impact in Maryland. Tens of thousands of federal workers who live or work in Maryland are impacted by the shutdown now in a third week. Hear from some of those affected this afternoon on WJZ. Now let's get an update on your forecast with Meg. Hi, Lynn. So it is a gray day across the area. However, I think we'll see some breaks of sun as our afternoon goes on before more clouds return later on. So upper 30s, yes, those are the highs today. Very different from Sunday when we were in the mid 50s. Tonight, only dropping down into the mid 30s. So we're actually going to have a warm front move through tonight. And that means for tomorrow, upper 50s, mid 40s there by Wednesday. And then we do have some of this cold air settling in thanks to another cold front. So we'll be in the 30s. Lynn? Thanks, Meg. Check in with WJZ this afternoon for the updated forecast and all of today's developing stories.